Hello everyone from sunny and warm Dews. This is Camping Cinderella. A uh, pretty cool place uh, to be honest to stay. Um, I have one of those huts for 35 dinars and that includes uh, breakfast, which is cool. And it's just uh, off to the desert, five minutes. But uh, more important thing is, so I published a video about how I pack on a bike and uh, there were one question which um, really struck me out is where the hell do I pack that tube behind it, one of the side panels and um, how do I put it there so um, I'm gonna show you that in here is the tube and how it's attached is that there is this rubber rubber band which if I pull off I can just take the tube out of there right so the rubber band uh, goes around this frame mount and that's how the tube is held in place and it is a substantial size so what that means that <coughs> this little tiny compartment which we have um, in here is also great for other things so you can smuggle a drone there you can smuggle well whatever you want <laughs> um, because this is almost the size of my drone um, so I could do that um, now um, the good thing is that if you attach it to the frame it doesn't really suffer with the vibrations or anything like that so that is kind of cool um, so that's one thing which I wanted to show um, it's packed in this uh, food uh, plastic wrapper which has um, reinforcing and then um, that's just the tube and um, what you can also do is put it just in the um, uh, cloth um, to eat up some of those vibrations but yeah it, it does go there very nicely like this just you stuff it in there and then the rubber band would go from the frame around and in here um, you can see it in there it doesn't touch the engine it doesn't it, it should not touch the engine there is a frame as well so that's how I pack the tube second thing I want to mention is the bike is doing really really well but there's one problem and it's pretty annoying so what happens is if I'm going over the bumps from the front there's this rattle uh, plastic rattle um, and I was looking for it and couldn't find any source of it. I do have the teddy bear to uh, soak up some of the vibrations and I also have you know the brace from Camel ADV here. So the front itself is actually holding up pretty well but what you can see is if I start moving it there is a clunk right and what it does is actually moving in there and that's the problem now there is of course a spacer in here which should kind of space it out but it's too small for the hole which is in this um, fiber reinforced plastic and that's the reason why it actually wiggles and that means that the whole front is moving and when I go over the bump it just does blah blah, blah and it pisses me off to be honest so it's gonna be old good heavy duty zip tie fix and um, I hope that's gonna be all right I did it before so what happens is that I will take the zip tie and it goes from here all the way to there and that's problem solved <sighs> yeah I mean there's gonna be some it's not super strong and super solid because the zip tie is gonna tension but works well so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side cut this one off and ta-da yeah that's what we want no wiggle <laughs> 